Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here with another Halo video and today we're going to be talking about huge changes that are coming to the HCS aka the Halo Championship Series in Season 2. Now it seems like a lot of these changes are positive. They've really incorporated player and fan feedback. So hopefully, you know, going forward, it'll just be a refinement of the competitive ecosystem. So we're going to run through all the changes really quick because I know you guys don't want to waste time. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you for all the support. We're grinding away to 15k so if you love halo content and you want to help me out make sure you sub also my last video did not get pushed out by youtube that video is on if halo is boring as a game i really wanted to get a lot of feedback on there because i want to make a follow-up video to it so i'm going to leave that video in the description and in the comments please go check it out i would I'd be forever thankful. All right, let's get into the actual meat and potatoes. So they go and name all the game modes and the maps that it'll be on. So Capture the Flag will be on Argyle and Empyrean and Aquarius. Both of those first two are new maps. Empyrean being the pit remake and Argyle was another Forge made map. For Slayer, we're going to get Empyrean, Aquarius, Live Fire, Recharge Streets. King of the Hill, Recharge, Live Fire, Streets. Strongholds, Recharge, Live Fire, Streets. Oddball, Recharge, Live Fire, Streets. Ugh. It's a lot of the same maps, but, uh, you know, I think in, we're supposed to get the Halo 5 map. Oh my gosh, what is the name of that map? Plaza. We're supposed to get Plaza sometime in the future, so that'll be nice. For balance updates, this is, I think, a lot of what people are going to be most interested in, because this affects not only the HCS scene, but the rank scene. So for Argyle, the Bulldog is going to be replaced with the Sidekick. Both of the Commando spawns are going to become BR-75. And Fusion Coils are removed. I'm sure Spartan is literally screaming from happiness. Empyrean, Fusion Coils removed. Scrap Cannon removed. I Look, I know people were kind of upsetty spaghetti with the Scrap Cannon, but I thought it was funny. But uh, I think that means that the Rocket Launchers are going to be on Empyrean still. And I think that, that I think there's two of them. And I feel like that's... One too many. Detachment, the drop wall, total charges reduced from two to one. They also say that sandbox tweaks targeted for mid-February ahead of the major in Charlotte. They also changed the ammo racks. So now each weapon rack will be a red rack, meaning once a weapon is picked up, the rack won't spawn another until the weapon is despawned. That's a good change. For grenades, damage radius will be reduced. I think that's a good change. They changed the drop weapon mechanics, so now it will be about the same speed as normal weapon switching and this is a great change uh i don't i is it only in ranked in the hcs stuff but uh man i would like for it to be incorporated into casual modes too but the reduction in random error angle when no scoping with the sniper rifle they're adjusting their footstep audio to suit competitive play better they're now harder to hear at a distance and easier to hear when they're close so that's pretty that, that that's a good change the mangler is going to be vaulted from competition I know that it has been a huge point of contention, and I'm not going to lie, I don't really care. The sword will also be vaulted from competition, and they say that they're going to fine-tune it and will reintroduce it later on. Uh, the sword is strong. I'm sad to see it go. I feel like, you know, it's fun to watch somebody make plays with the sword, um, but it was a little too easy to use. So hopefully it comes back soon rather than later. They said that they're adjusting the commando. They felt like the winter update made it too strong. It's very strong right now. It's a lot of fun to use. I don't know what that means, to be completely honest, because they don't really go into it. Spike grenades have reduced randomness. Disruptor. They want to reduce the effectiveness of the weapon. So, meh. The pulse carbine will be vaulted and will explore a rework in the future. That's interesting because I feel like if you're reworking that weapon completely, it's going to change in the casual side of things as well. The Plasma Pistol will have a reduction in effectiveness. Um, you know, it definitely got a little too strong. It was useless before, and then it became very strong. So, I mean, I get it. And ammo reduction for just competitive. They're reducing ammo for the Heat Wave, Stalker Rifle, the Bulldog, and the Shock Rifle. They also talk about how in Season 3, the Shroud Screen and the Bandit Rifle will be added, and they hope that they have a meaningful impact in the gameplay meta. I'm excited to see how those perform. They didn't talk about how they want to respond more quickly to player feedback and make smaller tweaks throughout the season because, man, it was there was not a lot of updates, you know, in the last season. So hopefully they're able to take feedback from both the community, you know, watching and the players actually playing to create a, a sweet spot. So that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my last video. I love all of you. Peace!